a special atmosphere and a grand occasion. One the players and fans alike have been anticipating in the tension-laden days leading up to this fixture. But now the talking has to stop and the football must take over. Who's going to emerge victorious? It's a hard question to answer. Stay with us. We're live next. to you from Milan, a city synonymous with high fashion. The stadium might not be fashionable anymore, but it remains iconic, the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It's Milan, and they face Lecce. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Liao, he'll take this on. Well, the shot looked promising, but the keeper had the measure of it. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. Okafor. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Pongracic. Gallo. Pongracic. Kaba. Effective challenge. Leao. Hernandez. Benacer. Turning inside. Where's he going to go? Brilliantly blocked. Takes on the shot. Player in the way again. Pongracic, Kaba, Remy Uda, well, is it going to end up being productive for them? No panic, just passing. Options in the middle. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. And deciding to go short with this one. And not the best clearance. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, big opportunity. And what a match. 
magical save it was. He's driven in the corner. Splendid defending. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Benacer. Can they convert? And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So the ball rolling again, 2-0. Antonino Gallo. Caba. Well timed tackle. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. And the danger is averted. Might be a chance to break. He's in here. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Pongracic. Well, approaching half-time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Well, when they play like this, they're such a good team to watch. Their passing, movement and finishing have been of the highest quality. If they continue to play at this pace for the rest of the game, who knows how many they could score. Spot on with that tackle. Oh, well, foul play, says the referee. Yeah. A deep delivery. It might still be problematic. Opportunity here. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. And now we find out it was offside anyway. Pulisic. Calabria Calabria and Pulisic has it and he takes it on that is how to keep it out of the net and cutting it out Pongracic and there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. Well, when Christian Pulisic plays in this manner, he's an absolute joy to watch, and that's been the case up to this point, Stuart. Well, the keeper will be sick at the sight of him. He's been shooting from everywhere, and he's taken his goals really well.
So the second half is underway and still reflecting on a sparkling first 45 from Milan. A tremendous vision. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Kaba. He continues his run. Superbly read and executed. Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And he takes it away. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? From down here, it looks as though he landed actually on top of his elbow. That's why he's in so much discomfort. And that's why, of course, the bench are so concerned. Cheers, Jeff. Might really be able to trouble them here. But they took care of the situation defensively. This might be ideal for the counter. And finally, up a cul-de-sac. Well, we're into the final half hour. Teo Hernandez. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Incisive pass. And defensive play to be applauded. Good idea. Oh, that's a solid piece of defending when it looked as though it might go wrong for them. Perfect tackle. Loftus cheek. And a goal kick given. Here it is now, a substitution. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Sansone. Oh, big opportunity. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And still trying to get the shot off. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. He's driven in the corner. On the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. Kea. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Breaking at pace.
Beautifully weighted ball. So now a corner. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Sostituzione per il Milan. Fuori. Con il numero 11, Christian Pulisic. Dentro. Con il numero 21, Samuel Cicluse. Another short corner routine. Has a go. Blocked it brilliantly. Superbly read and executed. Well, in the closing phase here, and Milan have enjoyed themselves out there. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Tuba. Nicolas Sansone here. Opportunity. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So there it is, 3-1, the current scoreline here. Kea. Well, keeping the ball in this manner can be very effective. Chukwese gives it a go. Huge block. Ahmed Tuba. A very effective challenge put in. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Alexi Blatt. Pongracic. Remy Uda. Now we can say it's final, and we can say that Milan have officially prevailed. I wonder what you felt about their overall performance. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, it's completely normal to have high expectations where Christian Pulisic is concerned, Stuart. What did you make of the part he played? Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.